All right, guys, so today um, I'm just getting right into the video. So um, if you were here, I'd let you shuffle up the deck. You can mix it up like this. You guys have to trust me. This is a completely um, shuffle deck. Now, all I want you to do from here is cut the deck somewhere. Let's say you cut it here. And I'm going to show you exactly the card where you cut to. And I'm just going to show it to you. And hopefully, okay, I'm really not going to be looking at this card. So this is going to be your card. Okay, hopefully you saw that. I'm going to put this back on this deck and leave it in the middle. As you can see, I have no breaks. I have no idea um, where it is. So at this point, all I want to do is have you pick a number, um, let's say uh, four or seven. So in this case, let's say you wanted to pick um, four. So I'll deal four cards out on the table and I'm just going to go ahead and speed it up this way. You guys don't have to see me um, deal out all these cards. All right, so now that you guys have seen me, um, I clearly um, dealt these cards out, and they're all in four piles. Now, all I'm going to do is show you, and this really um, would only work if you were here, so I would show you um, the cards, and I would have you go through, and you could pick, and you can say which card uh, your pile is in, and then from there, I'd have you choose between um, which piles to do and don't have your cards. So let's say you were to go through, and you'd pick out, and you'd look at all these cards, and you would tell me that none of these cards or none of these decks actually have your card in it. So I'd put these um, away. So in this case, we're left with one packet. And what I'd have you do is I can show you one by one all the cards that are here. And then after I'm done dealing them out, I would just give the deck back to you. And I would have you deal them out very, very slowly. This way I can see and try to figure out which one is your card. So um, in this case, in real performance, this would be... Um, in your hands and you'd be dealing down the cards just like this and I'd be looking to see which one is possibly your card and in this case I would say stop and I believe this is your card so uh, this is a trick guys if you want to do it don't forget to stick around for the tutorial alright so I am going to be teaching the trick a little bit different um, than the way I showed it in the performance um, just because in the uh, performance, um, it involves a lot of estimation, a lot of guessing, and this is going to make the trick work every single time. So uh, to start off, what you want to do is take 25 cards. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, 25, 24, you have 25 cards broken um, at the bottom and the spectators can't see it. So um, all you have to do is tell the spectators um, to say stop whenever they like and basically you're just doing a ripple force so uh, wherever they say stop you just, just take it from the break and then you can have them select the card. So um, the card itself doesn't actually matter so let's say um, you go here and you riffle down and wherever they say stop you can ask them would you like me to stop here or keep going and you do this just to make the spectator feel um, as though they have you know an actual uh, choice of whether you want to uh, pick the cards up at so let's say they say keep going all you do is you take your fingers and as soon as you lift up the bottom half of the deck you put your fingers over the break let go with your thumb and then take it from the pinky break and you can set the two packets down and you show the card to the spectator. Now you are not actually going to be seeing this card at all, so you're not going to know it until the very, very end of the trick. So they see their card. Um, in this case, it is the Queen of Hearts. Now um, you're just going to leave this in the other packet and put the 25 cards on top. And you can tell the spectators, look, I have no idea where your card is. You can spread it and show them you have no breaks. And at this point, because you actually had a, uh, a five card packet, or, or sorry, a 25 card packet. Um, you're going to deal out just five piles. So you tell the spectator, all right, I'm going to go ahead and deal out five packets of cards. Now, um, the reason I chose number 25 um, is because normally you can do this trick with other packets of cards, but it, like I said, involves guessing. And you'd have to choose um, between different numbers to divide the number you were picking of. So in the performance, I actually estimated there was 28 cards in the packet, and I laid out, I believe, four piles. And the way this trick works is you take the number of cards you estimate and you divide it by um, a number that's divisible by. And the answer to that division problem is how many cards up from the bottom um, of one of the packets is 
the position of your card. So like I said, it's kind of difficult to explain, um, so this will kind of make more sense. So let's say you have these packets here. Now, the spectator's card is five cards up from the bottom um, in one of these packets. So like I said, you're not going to know the card, so you have the spectator go through, and they look through the packets to find their card. Um, in this case, it's not here, so we're looking for the queen of hearts. So like I said, you're not doing this. The spectator is going through the decks, and they're looking for their card, so it's just not here. Keep going. They don't see it here. It should be. So it has to be in this last packet here. So, okay, so we see the spectator's card. And like I said before, it is five cards up from the bottom. So one, two, three, four. It's the fifth card from the bottom right here, the queen of hearts. So the deck now is going to be, or the packet here, the spectator is going to choose it. They're going to say, look, this is uh, the packet where my card's at. And what you do is you say, look, I'm gonna, and you just casually deal down the cards um, and reverse the order just like this. You don't really mention it too much, but you tell spectators, look, I'm going to have you deal down the cards just like I'm doing right here, and you just deal down like this. And now what you do is once you have, you've reversed the order, the queen should be one, two, three, four, five cards from the top. So now you know exactly um, where their card is. But like I said, you don't know what their card is. You just know where it is. So at this point, you know it's five cards down from the top and you give the cards to the spectator and you tell them I want you to slowly deal out the cards and you want them to do it slowly that way you can tell them to stop right when they get to their cards so they're doing the cards slowly you say okay look I'm gonna be trying to figure out which one your card is and they get to this point and you say stop and you flip it over and then it's their card so uh, this is the trick guys I hope you guys like it and as always thanks for watching